Okay, the first thing you have to do is you have to uninstall the Nation Zoom malicious program from your computer. You click on Start, then on Control Panel, then on Uninstall a Program. Okay, and then you just take it out of there. Take it out of the uh, Uninstall it from the Control Panel. You have to remove all of the malicious programming that got downloaded onto your computer. That's Nation Zoom. And I'm, the way I can tell which one is Nation Zoom is I go by the date. Like if today's, let's say today's December the 8th, then anything dated on December the 8th, if I knew what happened today, I'd remove that stuff. Um, next step, you need to remove Nation Zoom, Zoom from Internet Explorer. Um, I do not have Firefox. Um, if, if you go online, um, there are some good um, websites that'll tell you how to just do a search on removing Nation Zoom from from Firefox, and something will come up and show you how to do it. But for um, Internet Explorer, you click on the gear icon in the upper right. Uh, I have Windows Vista. This is what I had to do. I clicked on the gear icon in the upper right. Then I clicked on Internet Options. Then in the Internet Options dialog box, I clicked on Advanced. Then I clicked on Reset. And then in Reset Internet Explorer Settings section, you check Delete Personal Settings box. Then you click Reset, click Close, and click OK. Then you have to restart the computer. It gives you a message telling you you need to do that. Next, you got to remove Nation Zoom from Google Chrome, because I had Google Google Chrome. If you have Mozilla Firefox, as I've already said, there are um, there are websites online that'll tell you how to do that. Um, for Google Chrome, you click on the Chrome menu in the upper right, select Tools, click on Extensions. In Extensions, you remove any unknown extensions by clicking the trash icon. Uh, next, you want to set the Google Chrome default search de search engine from Yahoo Search to Google because Nation Zoom uses Yahoo, so they it automatically puts your computer into uh, with Yahoo as your default search, and you don't want that. You want it to be Google or or whatever you want it to be. I like Google, so, and then you click the Chrome menu button again, and you select Settings, click on Manage Search Engines in the Search section. And then in the Search Engines dialog box, select Google and make it your default. Next, you want to change the Google Chrome home page from Nation Zoom to its default. So you click on the Chrome menu again, then Settings, click, uh, click on Open, then choose Open the New Tab page. Just you know, put, fill out that little dot in there uh, in the Startup section. And then, yeah, then you've got that part done. You also want to clean up the various Windows shortcuts that have been hijacked by Nation Zoom. And I will actually show you personally um, from this. It's very important that you get all of the browser shortcuts, and all that'll be next. Okay, this next step is really tricky. You need to find all of the startup icons like this and like this and like this. Let's start with, let's make sure you get every single one of them. Now for my computer, I only have one Google Chrome startup icon. So you right click it, go down to click on properties, and then right there where it says target, this is what it's supposed to look like. Originally what I had is right in this section right here, I had an extra argument attached that said www.nationcoms.com and I had to highlight that and delete it. You need to do this for every, and then after you do that, then you just go down here and hit OK. So what you do is you find every single icon like this and you need to write, like here's another one. This is for Internet Explorer. You right click that, you go down to properties. And then right in there, in that target section, this is all you want in there. You don't want anything more than this. Anything on the end here that's attached needs to be removed. And that's what I did. But, but the mistake that I made 
was I didn't get every single icon. Like I got this one, but I forgot the one down here. You can't really see it real good, right? This one. There's one right down there. It's not coming in very good on. Um, let me show it to you from this angle. Um, right there, that one. See that one? Come on, focus. That one I forgot to do. You got to remember to do. I had two icons for Internet Explorer, and I forgot to do this one. And this is the one I hit to go into Internet Explorer. So, because I didn't do this, Nation Zoom came up. So you right click this, you go down there, hit properties, and then right in there. Oh my goodness, there's something in here. Let me see what it is. This is something extra that I don't want. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's go back and check it out and see what happened. Aha! There it is. Okay, that needs to be removed. I thought apparently I did something and I messed it up. So here's what you do. You go this way. Okay, right there. That argument you do not want in there. So what you do is from you highlight it and get rid of it. Right there. Okay, then I'm going to go down here and hit delete. Right there. And whammo, it is gone. And the only thing that you have there is this. Okay, that's all you want. You don't want anything after this EXE right here. See, this is what I forgot to do, and that's why Nation Zoom came back onto my, um, <laughs> on, okay, then you go ahead and hit OK, and you get on out of there. See, when you hit, if you don't do that, then when you hit this Launch Internet Explorer button, here, when you hit this, or actually it was this one, when you hit that, what's going to come up is Nation Zoom instead of instead of Internet Explorer. So that's very important. You need to make sure you get every single one. If not, then it's going to be messed up. Let's just double check and make sure this is right. Double check that. Okay, that one's good. We can get out of there. Let's double check this one here. This you can't see it real good. There's an icon down here. Let's hit properties. Okay, that one's good. Okay, it looks like we're good now. But see, that's that's what I goofed up on before. I didn't make sure I got every single icon and made sure that I got rid of the Nation Zoom argument at the end. Okay, after you do that, this is what I found I had to do. Then you run malware bytes, and um, that's it. Looks like this. You can get that online malware uh, bytes. Um, you just go ahead and run this. You have to download it. You can download it online. It's a free program. You open it, and then it it opens up. Um, and then you just go ahead and run it. And what I do is um, I ran the full scan, not just the quick scan. I ran the whole thing because I found with this with this. Nation Zoom, you need to run a full scan. So I, you do that next, and you get rid of all. So you see right there, it says perform whole full scan. You hit that, but I'm not going to do it right now. But that's what you do, and then you remove, and then you just follow the steps and remove the um, the malware. And the first time that I ran malware after I accidentally installed this malicious software called Nation Zoom, I had 150 infected files. I had to run it through several times. Okay, after you do that, then you've got to uninstall Google Chrome and then and then uh, reinstall. The way you do that is you go down to you hit Start, you go to Control Panel. Okay, and then once you get in here, you get into uninstall a pro. You hit uninstall a program, and then you just and then you find it right there. It is Google Chrome. And what I did is I clicked it, and then I uninstalled it, and got rid of it. And then once I did that, then I went online. Yeah, I went online, and I um, I found a Google Chrome, you know, a website that allowed me to uh, download Google Chrome, and then I um, I downloaded it again. So I uninstalled it, then reinstalled it, and that fixed it. That fixed my Google Chrome. Okay, the net, the, but now it's a little tricky to uninstall Internet Explorer. The way you do that is you hit you hit Start here. Okay, then you get the Go to Control Panel, and then 
under programs, you go and hit programs. Okay, once program comes up, you go to view installed updates under programs right here. Okay, when that once that comes up, it starts listing all the updates on your computer. Uh, let's see, right there, see that? Okay, now what will happen is one of the, in the Microsoft section, it's going to say Internet Explorer 9. Uh, it's, it takes a while for it all to come up, but it, it will come up eventually. It's in this list, and when you see it, then you just highlight it, and then you uninstall it. You do it from this section right here in the Update section. Okay, then once you've done that, then you just go online. You go online and to the Microsoft website and you reinstall Internet Explorer 9. And then that's, that's what I did and I got rid of uh, Nation Zoom. There, um, that's what I did. So I'm just letting you know what worked for me.